hi there welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to go through what i got for christmas now i know this is a really popular video across all of youtube and this isn't a bragging video at all it's just sharing what i've got and just showing how grateful i am i have family and friends that actually watch this channel so it would be a great way to say thank you to save all christmas cards or thank you cards and things like going out so let's get started so i'm going to start with my stocking so this year was the first year that scott and i actually spent at home and my parents have always done stockings for me where and i've been here three years now so this year i got my own stocking so i got this from the range and i was really, really happy with it it's just a plain gray stocking with all the detail and it obviously matches all of my uh, details in the house so i actually didn't realize that scott was going to put stuff in my stocking i obviously filled here so i thought i'll put a couple of extra bits in the stocking anyway and um so i had something to open i completely forgot exactly what i did because i did this so far in advance and actually he ended up putting stuff in so double lock can't go wrong so in the stocking i got aldi's little chocolate reindeer so chocolate is pretty much the theme of this whole stocking i got some aero snowballs i got this in my cherries haul which i thought was a great idea um i absolutely love white chocolate so yeah some milky bar mix-ups my teaser button Got a Happy Tube of Smarties. So this year it was orange, as orange is my favourite. And not because it's my favourite colour, it's just the fact that it's my favourite flavour of Smarties. Dairy Milk Crunchy, one of my favourites at the moment. Problem is, I eat this by the bar, and as you can see, they're quite large bars. <laughs> the classic Terry's Chocolate Orange. I also got a easy peeler satsuma whatever you want to call them in the bottom but i also get the chocolate orange and the normal version i actually eat the normal version sort of as my breakfast on christmas day because also you can eat it in bed we actually um are actually in my bedroom right now and we actually set up the tree um with a stand which is just behind me here ob proof the <laughs> the tree this year um and we all basically sat in here on christmas morning it was really nice it worked out really well um, even with OB and he was absolutely exhausted by lunchtime so he's better <laughs> and then Scott also got me some white Lindor chocolate which is again one of my favourites he actually lied to me about this he said I couldn't get hold of it it was should have picked up ages ago and then when I opened my stocking it was a really really nice surprise and I think that is it I haven't eaten anything out of this it's always a good start so now I'm going to move on to a few gifts that I actually purchased myself. I always get a few little bits, especially with Black Friday just before Christmas. So what you're actually stood on is the Vax Dual Power Pet Advance. Now I've been looking at this for ages because since we moved into the flat the carpet has not been in the best condition. And basically it needs a good clean. So I borrowed my parents version of it. Um, and it brought the carpet up really, really well. I mean, it was a family of three that was living here before, a little girl and the mum and dad. Um, so obviously, since we've had the dog, we wanted to make sure we got something. So I thought it was actually on sale for £99 instead of 160 something. And obviously, the minute people have pet on any hoover or vacuum cleaner or anything like that, the price goes up like doubles um for that this is actually under 100 pounds i thought right great and also my mother-in-law for christmas has decided to put some money towards it as well which was um really helpful a couple of other things i bought i'm really really liking face mask at the moment because i really get spots around the sort of these sort of areas and a couple up here um so on amazon i purchased this free uh freeman peel off gel mask uh, which has got pomegranate and it smells amazing. I used it for the first time last night. It's a clear gel, which is probably the only thing I'd say was negative about it because I couldn't quite see, well, in the light of our bathroom and our mirror, where I'd actually placed it. But once I kind of got the fact that it got went a bit sticky once it touched the skin, it was great. And then after it says to leave 10 to 15 minutes, I'd say after about 14 minutes, it was still very sticky. But in that last minute or so, and I left it a little bit longer just to make sure it was completely dry. I could feel it going dry 
so actually I was really really impressed with it and it has left my face feeling amazing obviously just wash it with warm water afterwards um I've got no spots no obviously didn't get rid of the spots at the moment but it just made me feel really good and it was a nice 10-15 minutes away from home and life and I just literally sat in here on the bed with the computer and literally with this and it was great so I definitely recommend and it was only like five pounds if that so I picked up just to make it one of those items that makes you delivery um free that was good and then also Christmas Saffron Barker bought out some pajama sets within the style and they came with these boxes I did do a haul I can't remember if I've actually ended up uploading it has technology issues and um, they came in these boxes so I bought the this is the set I've been actually been wearing the last few nights so this is the navy blue set uh, with the stars down the side and also the top. Now I actually wear at the moment a size 20. I have lost quite a bit of weight since we've had the dog just because of all the walking and things like that. Um, so there's some things items are coming up for big but I prefer it bigger than smaller because obviously my weight can fluctuate. And then this has got the stars which I have on that side down the sides as well. And then in the box, the other set I got was grey. So same idea, but just slightly different um, design. So I'm really excited to wear those once. Um, I've had a bath um, tonight. I'll put the fresh ones on and the blue ones will go back in the washing basket where they got that. <laughs> but I thought I'd at least show you because not everyone knows. So on to main presents. So as you can see in the frame here is a pack of Jeffy Cakes. Now me and my other half, I just don't want to have it all out with that love jaffa cakes and the problem is that i will eat them by the packet or by the the tube actually this has three inside i actually ate one this morning whoops as you do christmas snacking that's pretty much all we've done the last 48 hours is just snack and um, we had loads of nibbles on christmas eve so it's little, pretty much just leftovers um i actually ended up having the same thought as him because i always end up eating them before he does and bought him one of those meter versions which I think I can't find it in here. He's obviously hidden it or eaten it already. Um, so we both had the same idea with that. One of the other little presents I also bought myself was a hard drive. And this, again, was from Amazon. I have got one already, but for some reason, I don't know why, my laptop suddenly didn't start backing up to it. And it took so long for it just to actually put a backup on it. You know, my Mac will tell me, you've not backed up for x amount of days and i'm like okay so i thought i'll buy a new one i'll get it backing up to this and then just use the other one as photo storage i take so many photos especially with the dog and stuff like that so that was a great purchase uh, then got some um amazon vouchers that was from my stepbrother i also got an amazon voucher um from scott's sister i got a couple of these got one from my mum as well also my mum she knows i love baked and she actually bought these silicone um cupcake holders which i think would be great i hate using the paper because you literally bake in them and then you pretty much take them straight off so actually this has been great um especially if i have the plastic um containers to store the cake in and it also comes with a little pastry brush which i think is actually really useful um, and also a little spatula i can never have enough spatulas i have about three in the kitchen and they're still not enough i even bought some disney ones i think about a year ago on holiday and i use them all the time i seem to use all of my spatulas all in one go so the more i have the better then for Christmas, my parents always struggle, so they always make a little voucher, which I think is really cute, um, to go into my bank account. So basically they put money into the account on the 25th, and then I get a little voucher in a card, or um, and at this time it was an envelope. And then again, my mum, you can see my mum's handwriting there, the Amazon voucher, um, which would be great because I'm always buying things on Amazon, so that can go through face masks and things like that, and I can really treat myself. But also put it towards stuff that I actually really use. Another thing I bought before Christmas, uh, was some sealant to redo the bathroom sealant in here and also the French door sealant because we've noticed it's actually starting to rise and come out and a little bit is actually missing and in all the wind and weather we had last night which was absolutely horrible Storm Ellie? Ella I think? I can't remember exactly it was really loud and we could hear it through the door so we're going to redo that but what I didn't realise not a DIY queen in this house yet we're working on it you get you bought the tube of the sealant but i didn't realize you needed a little gun thing to actually do it with i've seen my dad do it so many times but just didn't think that you could buy one separately to the other so i purchased that as well again five pound on amazon 
I want to do a haul. I don't know if you let me down below if you need an, a video it will show you all the little things that I recommend getting as a first time homeowner because either you will find you will get little things that you don't have a clue like radiator keys. Who knew what one of them are? And I think it'd be really, really useful because I really struggled when we first moved here of just little things, a toilet plunger not a thing you'd automatically have in your box. I obviously had loads of plates, cutlery, all the standard things, but there's always little things, especially DIY related, that you wouldn't necessarily already have. Okay, let's move back onto the presents. So in this bag, so every year I have to explain, my grandparents on my dad's side always have bought me a calendar, always. So some of years it's Bake Off related or it's funny jokes. And this year it was Eric, the penguin now i'm really excited because we we have a calendar hanging up on one of our kitchen cupboards in our um kitchen um on the pantry because it's quite tall um and it's really really good and these ones actually come with little jokes on the pages which i th think are really funny and it's just you know when you're staring into space in the kitchen you've had a really bad day sometimes a really really cheesy penguin joke can go a long way so you'd be surprised actually how useful they are I then also got from a member of the family a rhubarb and elderflower um, diffuser. Now, I love anything that is fruity or anything like that, so this will be absolutely lovely. And I love elderflower. I like drinking elderflower, but the smell of it is great. Um, I think this is a Sainsbury's home? Yeah, one. So they're available in Sainsbury's, apparently. I'm actually going to look to see if there's any other flavours I like. I love, like, citrusy um, smells. Um, so this was a great present, thank you very much. But then also from my mum, she loves visiting the Isle of Wight when they were last over there, I think it was in, that's actually a good question, before the pandemic um, kicked off. Um, she found this, it comes in a little case. And it's a leather purse. Now, she knows I absolutely love dogs. Obviously, we've got Obi, which is our little collie. But I, my favourite film is the Dalmatians. I love Disney. As you can see, I've got Disney things all over the tree, everything like that. Um, so I thought that was really, really cute. It's got the Dalmatian and the collie and the, obviously two other dogs as well. So we thought that was a really, really, really great addition. Next thing I have been obsessed with is bath bombs. So for my birthday, my uh, sister bought me some uh, Lush bath bombs, which I've never had in my life. Um, I've seen her use them. Obviously, it's the Rave, Lush is homemade and things like that. Um, and I've never used them. And I was clearly missing out. So one of the things I got, this is from my mother-in-law, was some bath fizzers. Um, really excited what these ones, these are pink fizz apparently. Um, I just love the smell when it kind of makes a bath more relaxing instead of just hot water. Obviously I use bubble bath and things like that, but it's just nice to have something a little bit different. And then also got some Heroes. Can't go wrong with chocolate. I've got a lot of chocolate and I think what I'll do is I'm going to put it all in a basket so I can nibble at it and not all eat it in one go. I have a really bad habit. I can't eat things in one go best to hide it away in a cupboard <laughs> i also got from a member of the family a magnetic jotter pad um which is actually really useful because it um it has my magnets on the back and it'll go on my fridge um and i'll be able to put anything that you suddenly think you know like use the last put them ketchup or mayonnaise or whatever you can then put it straight on here also got some chocolate truffles which would be really nice. Got orange, espresso, hazelnut, chocolate mousse, um, black currant with cream. That'd be nice. And that's a, that was a joint present for Scott and I um, from family. It's nice that we've, we've got to the point, although we've been here 11 years now, that we are now getting joint presents, especially housey presents and edible things and things like that. I've had some really nice things over the years. Um, so actually, um, Christmas is a great time for that. I also got some of these as candle candles i've not had candles for ages haven't been using them really i've only started using them since the um, christmas season came um obviously because of the dog and safety reasons i had a um one i got in home bargains i think and it was like an apple and cinnamon smell and it was really nice just to make me feel christmasy and these are gold frankincense and frankincense and myrrh i will get that right in one sentence um which will be really really exciting i love the packaging it's shiny so that is that bag. 
And then in here from my mum, I also got Michael McIntyre's Life and Laughing. I absolutely love him. He's great. I love the fact that he laughs about normal things, as in getting into the bath and when things are too hot and if you hear noise in the, in, in the night and things like that and not about someone specific. I have a really big bugbear about people that will take the mick out of people that are disabled and things like that and it really writes me up the wrong way. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to that because I think it'll be funny as well. Um, so that's going to be a good one. And then I used to work with a guy called Ross who now my partner works with um, and he asked what I wanted for Christmas and I'm like, Nothing. I don't expect anything really from you. A lovely card will do. You know, you know, you don't have to spend your money. And you know, he works so hard for what he gets. And I said, just don't. Honestly, don't worry. Um. So he bought me a Terry chocolate orange and gin, which I'm really excited to try. I think I've tried the blood orange gin, but not this brand. Um. But I'm looking forward to trying the raspberry and the rhubarb and ginger, which will be absolutely right up my street. And then also on the Lush bomb um bath bombs i got the night before christmas set i won't open the box because it went everywhere um but this was from um a scott's older sister and family so it's got two lush bath bombs um don't know if you can see there um they smell amazing the minute i opened the box the bedroom smelled amazing so i'm really, really looking forward to those i'm going to add them to my collection in the bathroom then next up, I then bought, I got this for, um, from my parents, so from my dad and stepmom. Now, I never actually told them this year. Normally, I have, I had a Christmas list ready for the first time in years, ready as in I had a Christmas list written. And I don't normally have a Christmas written, list written unless they start asking. And the one year they don't ask, I didn't have one. They didn't ask for it. But they did really, really well and bought me this beautiful candle. And it's one of those ones where you put the the candle in the middle and it's got the gel around the outside, um, which would be really nice. And it's winter apple and spice. But I think that was lovely. And I'll actually try and use, if I can, the jar afterwards as well, or replace the candle. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but I'm gonna keep that jar. It's absolutely gorgeous. And last but not least, I was really, really lucky when I opened my biggest present. This is actually from Scott. So I have been wanting a Michael Kors bag for a long time. I've had bags over the years from Primark and Accessorize and things like that. And I literally use them until they are falling apart. And I will even use them when handles are broken i've tied handles together to keep them apart so i never really buy pay really really expensive for bags i only recently have i been getting to into something, something that will last a little bit longer so i decided to go for my Michael Kors bag now i didn't think this would be something i'd get and i thought okay i'll get money to, the money i do when we get for christmas i will put towards the bag um because I fell in love with them, and especially when uh, my sister last Christmas, we went, took her into Portsmouth, and they have a outlet there, and I thought, okay, I've never been into the shop before in my life, and thought, right, I'm going to see how it goes. So, in this lovely bag, I love when they have the dust covers, because it means you know that they're going to be protected. Obviously, this isn't a dog walking bag, as I call it. And it is a simple black. And I love the fact that it has the little pockets on the side. I always seem to think, oh, I keep opening the bag, I'll close it all up and then typically I need to go back in them. So I don't know if any other woman has that problem, but I always do. And especially you could just tuck the car keys in when you're just getting in the car. My car is a keyless car, so once you're in the door, you just have to press the start button as long as the key's in range and in the car. Um, yeah it's absolutely lovely inside nice and black nice and simple i love the fact that it's got all the pockets on the side because I put all the little things in so you don't lose anything so yeah i think that's my favorite present <laughs> overall i have got one more present which one from my sister which i actually haven't got with me um but i will insert a clip now so last but not least, I thought I'd show you the Jewel Power Pet Advance and hopefully you won't see my address on the top. The last thing but not least was this, which is a gorgeous canvas that my sister got us of Obi from when he was a tiny puppy. She actually came and did a photo shoot with us here. 
um when he was a few months old um and i'm so glad we did it i'll put her instagram down below she's a great photographer so if you need anything done and you're in the hampshire basin soak area i will link her information down below um, so that is from me that is what i got for christmas 2020 thank you ever so much for watching and i hope everyone had a lovely christmas despite all the confusion of who got what and who was allowed to do what and what tier you're in and all the changes and i hope you have a wonderful new year and i will see you soon thank you bye